All right, we are back. We have some more progress. Uh, today is going to be trying to prime the engine of oil, and if we're lucky, we can hopefully get it started and cranked. Right now, we are filling oil. Only the best, 10W60 Castrol. My last six bottles, six and a half. Uh, work that we did was installing the expansion tank brackets that we got from Attila over in Hungary. They're meant to be welded on so they have spots for spot welds, but I went ahead and used riv nuts and drilled a hole and then screwed it in so they can be removed later, but they're in, they're not going anywhere. This thing is rock solid. So, and the coolant system is full right now. And so when we start the engine, we can turn the heat on, on the maximum temperature and the lowest fan speed and start bleeding the system. SMG system, uh, as I showed earlier, was working and functioning. DME is all connected. All the lines are connected. Heater hoses are connected. Blower box is connected. So hopefully we will be back when we can actually start priming the engine and getting it started. All right, let's see if we can get this thing primed. So far good, engine turns over and cranks. Uh, hopefully it's primed. Let's check the oil filter. Make sure. Good. There's oil in there. Good. All right, we're going to split the video up. We'll be right back. All right, we're gonna try to start the engine. I went ahead and put the fuel pump fuse in. Let's see what happens.
foot on the brake. See if this thing starts. All right, looks like we have a leak in the fuel pressure regulator. So I need to figure that out. We'll come back and try again another day. All right, we're back. Day two of trying to start. I fixed the fuel leak, replaced the fuel pressure regulator with a different one. I think the O-rings were bad in the previous one. I don't know why, because it was working fine before, but <clears throat> that was over a year ago. So now, we're gonna try our attempt to crank it again and hopefully get a start this time. I went ahead and put a section one after the header. Hopefully it'll quiet down a little bit, <clears throat> but we'll see, let's take a try. So good, no fuel leaks. We are in neutral. All right, so right now uh, I'm gonna do a voiceover for a few of these uh, parts. The engine is a little choppy right now because it's the first time starting. Uh, it's had a Vanos system refresh, so it's figuring out the timing. It's on a cold start, so there's a lot of different things that are going on. And uh, once it gets to the cold start, you'll hear itself catch. And then it'll kind of, there it goes. So it just kind of normalizes. And then if you hear, there's a there's a kind of like a rattle going on, and that rattle uh, is the uh, power steering pump, and uh, it's empty, so it needs to be filled. Now that the power steering system is engaged, so old me is going to go grab some ATF and pour it in, and uh, it's going to bleed and burp a little bit, and then I'll add some more a little bit later. And then later on on the second and third star, which you don't see here, is when I'll go through and bleed the system by rotating the steering wheel left and right to get all the burbles out. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick overview of it, uh, sound here since you can't hear anything since I didn't actually record any audio during that time uh, with the engine running. back. 